Coming up next on the News 24 Late Report, Macon Police Chief Ray Pope, his deputy, and two other members of the police department have been fired tonight over the wiretapping scandal. And we'll look at the fierce storms that are pounding the West Coast. Those reports plus meteorologist Bob Page is promising us a dry weekend. And Alicia Ames has one last tribute to the bear. All next on the News 24 Late Report. News 24's Late Report with news anchors Donna Fowler and Dave Nima, meteorologist Bob Pape, and sports with Alicia Ames. Good evening, I'm Donna Fowler. The Macon Police Department tonight is reeling after learning that both its chief and deputy chief have been terminated. News 24 reporter Tamara Clifton says there is much more than wiretapping going on within the, the department and discovering the tap is just the tip of the iceberg. The chief's office is dark now, even behind a locked door. The speculation is over. Ray Pope is no longer police chief of the city of Macon, but it's not known at this time whether it was a decision of his or one the city made for him. Either way, we've been told the chief is now in his hometown of Waycross and he won't be returning. Mayor George Israel made the official announcement early this afternoon. Three are now out of a job with the city because Israel says they just won't tolerate improperly authorized monitoring. I've interviewed all three in discussing the, uh, the report itself and uh, the statements of the I think all understand uh, the absolute impossibility of all three remaining in current positions and uh, that they seem to acquiesce to that. So those out of the department tonight are Chief Ray Pope, Deputy Chief Henry Henry and Police Officer Wayne Kemp, who admits to tapping the telephone um, within the police like department reason. under the orders it's of higher-ranking officials. But there's talk. more to our story tonight. David Sapp, the city's police planner, turned in his resignation last week. Our sources tell us there's a good chance it will be turned down, and he, too, will be fired. In this building in Macon are two businesses. One is Dick DeGrasse Security Systems. The other investigation agency called International City Investigative Agency, which is owned by David Sapp's wife, Rosemary. Yet it is David who signs the bills, and according to sources, actively does much of the investigative work himself and some on city time. Sapp was to have given up the business when he took the job with the city, and our sources tell us Ray Pope knew about Sapp's business all along. And we've also learned that the wiretapping within the city goes deeper than one tap. In fact, we know of at least two incidents related to wiretapping. Our sources say that the so-called black bag belonging to Officer Bobby Lowe was found by a second officer. That bag allegedly contained wiretapping equipment, and the officer who found it has notified the FBI. Tamara, that's a startling discovery. Now, you've checked this with sources at City Hall. Yes, we certainly did. We went to talk to Don Scalf, who was taking over while Mayor Israel was in Washington this afternoon. He says he would not confirm that information that we had, but he did say that more investigations are underway within the department, and it's a pretty good indication this is among them. Not exactly a confirmation, but then not a denial either. Exactly. Thank you, Tamara. I know you'll stay on this for us next week. It's, it's an incredible story that continues to unfold. It certainly does. Thank you.